All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to hook up a little mini fire alarm circuit if you do not own a fire alarm control panel. It is very simple to do, actually. It's not hard at all. So let me go ahead and show you how I constructed my little circuit right here. Basically, I have here a Spectralert Classic remote strobe and my Simplex 42-5120 T-Bar. Now, I also, for the power supply, I have this power supply right here which gives off 24 volts DC. And everybody's been wondering where I got this power supply and I will be honest, I do not remember. I ordered it off some website years ago, so I don't remember. But it's called a Power One, and there's the model number right there. You can probably just research it online to be able to find it. Anyway, so basically how I hooked this little circuit up is basically, I took, of this I had to construct because the, uh, the port right here was something I did not have a plug for, so I basically took the wires out of the uh, out of that port and uh, put it into this little uh, terminal strip here, and labeled it as um, the positive and negative. So, what I did was I took the positive and negative wires from the port. I took the positive wire, put it into the first terminal of the Simplex 425120, which is right here, and the second terminal leads to the po to the positive. Um, to the positive terminal on the back of the spectral alert, which is right there. As for the negative wire, I just wired the negative wire from the power supply into the spectral alert. So, the, so like I said, the negative wire just goes immediately into the alarm. The, pulse, the uh, po positive you put into the pulse station on terminal 1, and then put the positive lead from terminal 2 into the back of the positive on the spectral alert. So let me go ahead and demonstrate how it works. So that's how that works. It's very, very simple. Now, let me just tell you this. This is a very good little uh, circuit for beginners. This is a very simple circuit for beginners that are getting into fire alarms. As for the control panel, once I get another control panel, if I ever do, I'll, sh I'll be sh surely glad to demonstrate how to hook to wire everything up on a control panel. But for right now, this will do for beginners. So if you have any more questions, feel free to let me know. Thanks. I also forgotten to mention about um, a four-wire alarm. If you want to hook up a four-wire alarm, it's going to be impossible since you're running two separate circuits. So my suggestion would be hook the negative terminal from the strobe circuit to the horn circuit, and then hook the positive terminal to from the from the strobe circuit to the positive terminal on the horn circuit. Then run the wires how I did in the power supply and the pull station. Any more questions? Let me know.